Hi everyone, welcome back again to my channel. How are we all doing today? My name is Tina. So if you're coming across my channel for the first time, please do want to subscribe. So I have a notification also if you don't find your important and you will also give this video a massive thumbs up. Nigeria Afrobeat star David Doe is currently in a hot seat right now because of the interview he granted recently in the United States of America. He was asked if he will not be returning back home and he had a lot of things to say about Nigeria economy. Nigerians are not finding it funny because a lot of people are thinking maybe the video you are one of the privileged nigerians you don't even know what it means to struggle or what you mean you know to not have food on your table and all that of course the video father is a billionaire and his uncle is a governor and the video is from a very wealthy family back home so people are saying based on that that he doesn't have any right to mention what he said other people on the other hand are saying that the video said it should that they should leave him alone and just he's just dragging up and down and center and all that I'm going to play the interview for you guys to watch then there is a reporter that actually came out to also drag the video and she had a lot to say we're going to be listening to her also then we'll have to talk about that after the videos but my original question was like so for if people want to leave America and like try to find those leave America and go where back home let's be honest go back where it's not cool back home it's not just I mean not, I not, my country now is in Got the, the the economy now is in shambles like but if if okay so with if people are leaving i do my part yeah i'm an ambassador so mm -hmm. when i go home and i'm filming showing i'm not gonna show the bad parts i ain't gonna show the yeah all the bad you're not gonna try to slum you're not gonna show, show the trenches no i, I go to the trenches yeah. i'm filming the trenches but i'm talking about the situation in the country yeah be nigerians you know what i'm saying like now the the exchange rate is messed up mm. The, um, a lot of stuff not going well. You know what I'm saying? The economy is just not good anymore. Yeah. The oil prices are, are too high. Um, and imagine a country that produces oil. We produce the oil and we pay more money for oil than a country that's importing the oil. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. there's stuff like that. But regardless, entertainment is one of the things that's made Africa look good. Yeah. We do not have the best leaders. That's a fact. In this video, the video did not just talk about Nigeria. He talked about Africa and the things people face in Africa and the kind of leadership we have in Africa. Of course, we know that one of the characteristics of African politics is corruption. I was reading about Equatorial Guinea recently and I found out that the president has been there for a long time and the deputy president is also his son. I'm like, how is it possible? Even with the sex scandal that went on recently, we found out that the man is also back to work, back to his seat and all that. A TV presenter in a recent interview came out to share her opinion about this interview that the video had. She has a lot to say. I'm going to play the recording for us, then we'll come back and discuss about that. Okay, so David Doe did something very responsible and I stick to it. David Doe is one of the privileged Nigerians who are both who are dual citizens. He talks about his Atlanta background a lot. Did he do a, a service to the Nigerian who doesn't have that privilege? No. Because that Nigerian needs an investor who would set up and create the, a, an enabling labor market that will give him life, that will empower him, that will employ him. What David Doe has simply done is that when uh, Ashwaju is taking a plane to country to look for the foreign investors that will come here, he's told them, don't come. Has he done a service to the average Nigerian inside Ede that does not know the royal family of Ede? Has he done a service to the Nigerians in, in Omwaro? Who is in the bush trying to get wood? Hmm. Has he done anybody a privilege in the rice farms in, in Bida? No, he hasn't. He has spoken who's truth of the elite. The people who spend the dollars. One minute, stop it. Not the people who buy beans per paint. Oh. Hmm. We know that the country is hard. We know that these reforms were forced on us because if we had continued to feed the elites, we would be worse off. Yeah. They had to take out subsidy, stop the payment. Allocation has increased to state governors, but we are not asking the governors. No. We have removed, removed this, this, this supplement that we give to dollars so that we can buy it cheaply. We are now forced to buy it where how we see it. And we are, this is the real value. We are suffering under that weight. And what you can say is tell the, it's bad here. As if it's not bad. Did you hear the campaigns? During the elections, in the, not the completed elections, did you hear the campaigns? That's a good of, idea. Of, of what the reality of America is. And Oprah would say it at elections, but she won't sit on a show or sit at a table and tell everybody, I tell a foreign interviewer what David Doe did. And that's where it's wrong. Because you sat there, but now your reference point for whether they should go ahead and invest in the country. 
See, the point is, no matter how truth your truth is, all your truth, if it's not going to be of service to your people, it's in the corridors where he could make that noise privately. But no, he chose to tell that person on it that America care. Come where care. Whereas where we need is foreign investors. That's what our government has said we needed. Except the video can show me two, three companies where he's producing beans, rice, the local food for the local man, so that he can be talking. Yes, we we'll know what you're talking, but you're still talking amongst yourselves. We sit there and we allow our places of influence be where we advocate that is bad, it can never be good, it's worse, we condemn our own. So David Doe is a person of influence and should be more guarded in his utterances, especially about the country that has given him that fame. Imagine that David Doe started his music at a, 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 a yeah. career in the US, he will be competing with the Americans. But now, because it started from here, when it became mm -hmm. the time for Africa to be on the scene, they are collaborating with him. You don't mm -hmm. throw where you are from in the pits. Mm. This is your source, and I'm just very disappointed. She actually said a lot, but when you watch the video's video, you actually notice that the video struggled before those words could come out of his mouth. He actually struggled. You see how he rubbed his head, he, you know, he beat himself. He struggled for that before those words could actually come out of his mouth. On her part, she gave us reason why Davido shouldn't do what he did, like based on who Davido is in the society. Like you are someone that everybody is looking up to. When they mention Nigeria, you are one of the people that people know Nigeria for. Like you say Nigeria, you say Davido. Now you people go here first. So him coming out to say this kind of thing, she's totally against it. But I want to know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think Davido should have said what he said? Do you think it's okay for him to, you know, go for that kind of interview and, you know, say everything he said? But one of the things I want to point out is that from watching the video, you will see how much he struggled to actually say those words. You see how much he struggled for those words to actually come out of his mouth. But like there are a lot of people saying things about this interview i'm going to be bringing you more of those uh, stories and i'm going to be just reporting it the way it happens another thing i also want to point out here is that the video is losing a lot of fans in nigeria right now because people that do not agree with him is moving to whiskey fc <laughs> you know those were between the video fan and whiskey fan it started again and people are saying that they are leaving the video fan club to enter whiskey fan club so are you still with the video or you are going to join whiskey fan club because it's happening it's, it's happening now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do want to subscribe if you're new here and don't forget to turn your post notification on so you'll be the first to know whenever I put out a new video. Thank you so much for your constant support in this channel. I will see you guys tomorrow with updates on this and people that have said something concerning this issue on ground. So thank you so much and have a peaceful night's nice rest. Bye-bye.